The multi-camera editor lets you create professional-looking video compilations from footage of events that have been captured on different cameras from different angles. Footage can be captured on a wide range of video recording devices such as action cameras, DSLRs, or smartphones. You can also include audio captured independently on a microphone. Once my content is in, I can select the clips that I want to bring into the multi-camera editor and click the multi-camera editor icon on my toolbar or right-click the clips and select multi-camera editor. In the editor, you can see that I have my six clips in the upper left corner as well as two virtual tracks. One is black that can be used for fading or title backgrounds and the other is used for cropping. Under Settings, we have Smart Proxy Manager as well as Save and Save As options. The first thing I want to do is set up Smart Proxy Manager. I'll have to enable Smart Proxy Manager. We have Smart Proxy File Manager as well as Queue Manager. And what this does is it will automatically create files between four to six times smaller that are used when editing the content. This will greatly improve the performance while you do your editing. Once all the editing is completed, the original source files will be used to render out the final project. The Save and Save As allows me to save my project out. Now the next task that we'd want to do is sync up our content. There's four different ways I can do that. I can sync by audio, sync by marker, shooting date and time, or I can manually move the clips along. By clicking on this icon, we can view the audio waveform and you'll see that they're not synchronized at all. I'm going to turn this feature off and I'm going to use marker to sync these. I'll hit my drop down, I'm going to select marker, and I know that these particular clips, certain positions, have the same action happening. I'm going to move my scrubber along and at about 12 minutes and 15 seconds, there's an audio cue that is on all tracks and I'll sync to that. We just move this along, we'll stop about the 12 minutes. And I'm just going to go ahead and play this. All right, I see I'm at the 12 minute and 14 second mark. I'm going to put my marker on there. Now on the second track, that particular audio cue is at about the 5 minute and 45 second mark. So let me just back this up. and I'll play. Alright, 5 minutes and 44 seconds, I can see that. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put the markers on these other clips and we'll be right back. Now that we have all of our markers in place, it's simply a matter of pressing on the sync button to sync up our clips. Now here we have the ability to select which track the audio will come from. As there's a fair amount of echo with most of these tracks, I'm going to select Audio 1 and it will give me silence while I'm doing my editing. Next I'm going to put the locks on each of these tracks and that will stop the tracks from accidentally being moved around. Now that we have everything set up, we can start to edit the clips. I'm going to move my scrubber back to this area here where we have all tracks on play at the same time and let me zoom in a little bit. Now it's just a matter of clicking on the play icon and we can review each of the thumbnails as our footage progresses. And as it progresses, if you wish to switch camera views, simply click on the camera view and it will be added to the timeline. The multi-view panel on the left helps make this task fun and easy. Much like a DJ switches between tracks to create new music compilation, the multi-camera editor lets you visually switch between video tracks and blend them together.
Now, rather than hitting play, I can also use the scrubber bar to move along the timeline. And I simply need to click on the thumbnail to add it to my project. I'm going to continue to edit my project and then we'll return and I'll show you another feature. Now that I'm finished editing my main track, I'm going to return my scrubber back to the beginning. I'll select PIP or Picture in Picture. Now Picture in Picture gives me the capabilities of adding my picture overlay in the upper right, upper left, bottom right, or bottom left corner. And all I need to do is simply click on my play icon again and as I go through my project I can select a track that I want to have as the picture-in-picture. Picture. Once I've added enough of that track I'll simply click on the trim icon here. And so very easy to add picture in picture to your project. Now it's time to add transitions. I'll move my scrubber back to the beginning in between the first two clips, select a clip and then click on the transition icon. If I wish to remove a transition it's simply a matter of clicking on this icon once again. So again I'll move between the clips I'll select the clip and click on the transition icon. I'm going to go through and add some more transitions into this and we'll be right back. When you're finished building your multi-camera project, you can save it so that it can be edited, exported and shared from Video Studio. Simply click on the OK button and it will save the project out and return you to the main screen of Video Studio. From here, I can drag my project onto the timeline and you'll notice that I have all of my clips with the transitions in between those as well as my overlays. Alternatively, I can double click the thumbnail and it will return me back to multi-camera editor so I can continue doing some more editing. That brings us to the end of this short tutorial. We do hope that you'll enjoy many hours of creating professional looking videos using the multi-camera feature within Video Studio. Thanks for watching.